Hello, uh, welcome back to the course on audio signal processing for music applications. In this uh, programming class of the third week of, uh, of the course, I want to introduce the actual code that is within the SMS tools uh, package that implements analysis and synthesis using uh, the DFT. In particular, what we're going to uh, show is uh, uh, the DFT model function that from a fragment of a sound, X of N, performs the FFT algorithm and then generates a magnitude and phase uh, spectrum and then that can go into the inverse FFT and it returns another uh, fragment of a sound that hopefully it should be identical to the input sound. Okay, so let's go to, um, well, the editor and let's uh, show the, the DFT model.py uh, file that is within the model's uh, subdirectory of the SMS tools package. Okay, in this uh, uh, file, you will uh, find three functions, three function definitions. The first one is called DFT model, and this is uh, one that implements the whole analysis and synthesis. So the input is the input sound, X, the window that we're going to uh, multiply by, and the FFT size, capital N. And it will return uh, the output sound, Y. Okay? And then many times we just need the analysis part or the synthesis part. So in this file we also find just the analysis, so from the same input, X, the window W, and capital N, it returns the magnitude and phase spectrum. And the DFT synthesis, the function that implements the synthesis part, has as input the magnitude and phase spectrum and the size of the sound to be generated, of the windowed sound, and it will return Y, which is our uh, output signal. Okay, um, and within that, basically, it has the code that we talked about in, uh, in the, the previous uh, programming class, in which we just have to window the signal and put it the signal in a way that is centered around zero, what we call zero phase windowing. So for example, well, let's look it at, at the DFT anal function which is very much like we showed in last class. So this uh, beginning is declaration and creation of some uh, variables. Uh, then we have the, the, the window that we input uh, and we normalize it. Then we window the actual signal. Then we have this buffer and we centering the windowed signal in the buffer at zero. Then we compute the FFT and then we will uh, generate the magnitude and phase values by taking the log for the magnitude and unwrapping the phases so that we get a nice looking uh, resulting spectra. And in the synthesis, it basically does the inverse. So again, we have to declare all these variables and then, uh, well, we have to initialize the output uh, sound. And a major difference is that the input, the magnitude and phase spectra, are only half of the values. Since the spectra are symmetric, the DFT anal function only returns the positive frequencies. Therefore, in the synthesis, we have to recompute the negative frequencies from the positive ones. And of course, since our symmetric is very simple, the positive frequencies are just direct. So getting the magnitude and phases, we just convert to rectangular, uh, to uh, complex numbers. So by using this uh, kind of Euler's uh, formula. And then for the negative frequencies, we just get those, but doing it, reading it uh, in a reverse way so that we get the, the symmetry aspect of it. And, of course, the phase we negate it so that we get uh, negation of the phases. 
and that's it. Then we obtain the, the inverse Fourier transform by calling the IFFT function that gives as input the complex spectrum. Then it, uh, we just get the real part because just we want the real signal out of that. And then we have to undo this uh, zero phase, this centering around zero, so that we get back the signal as we had it originally. Okay, so you can look at these uh, with more detail, both the synthesis and the analysis of uh, functions. I think they're quite well explained here, uh, so you can have a grasp of them. But in order to uh, test them, I created a small program okay, in which uh, I get all these packages, I specify the directory where these uh, models are, both the utility functions that I'm going to use and the DFT model. Okay, so from the current directory, I have to uh, specify this relative path to the models directory so that it finds these uh, two uh, packages, the util functions and the DFT models uh, uh, package. Okay, and now we're going to start reading a file. So I read a piano sound file. Uh, also relative to this current directory, that's where the sounds are. And I use this function that uh, I already uh, have been using to, uh, to return an array of floating point values. Then I use uh, a function that um, generates uh, the windows. Okay, get window uh, uh, allows us to generate smoothing windows and we'll talk more about it next week. Uh, in this particular case, the humming window of a given size, 511, and it returns an array of uh, these uh, values. Okay. Then we need to get the fragment within the input array that I'm going to analyze. So I start at second point two, and then I have to convert to sample. So I multiply to the sampling rate, and I get the, the samples of x that start at uh, second point two, and that lasts for m samples. And now we are ready to compute the DFT of that. So I call the DFT anal function from that module that we just saw, the package we uh, name it DFT. So we call the DFT anal, and I pass it the fragment of the sound, the window that I want to use, and the size of the FFT, which I I gave the number 1024. And then I can send the output values to the DFT synth and get back the uh, synthesized sound. It has to be normalized by the window. Uh, there is a whole bunch of normalization factors that uh, have to be used and sometimes are not so intuitive. But anyway, uh, you can check it and you can make sure that you need uh, this normalization factor. Okay, so now from the terminal, I am in the work space and I have this uh, file, the test for there. So I can start IPython with the pylab um, command so that uh, I get the matplotlib um, package into that. And I can run the test for. Okay, that executes that. So let's check that we did uh, things right. So for example, let's uh, plot the X, which is going to be our input signal. Okay, that's the whole piano signal, a little bit long, more than close to 17,000 uh, samples. Uh, no, no, 170,000 samples. Okay, we can plot just the fragment that we chose, X1. This is just a fragment of starting at point two. We can also plot the smoothing window that we applied. So we can plot W. This is our window that uh, we're going to multiply by the signal. Okay, and then out of the DFT anal, of course, we can plot MX, which is going to be the spectrum. Okay, so this is the positive side of the spectrum going from zero to half of the sampling rate or half of the uh, FFT size, so in this case it's 512, okay? Um, and of course we can also plot 
the phase spectrum Ex and that's the phase unwrapped phase spectrum that we have. Okay, so that's basically the whole thing that uh, we uh, want to show. And then there is one another uh, file in the models interface directory that is the one that basically integrates the analysis synthesis and makes nice plots and in fact is the one that is being called by the interface that we are uh, showing in the, in the demo classes. So this is the DFT model function file that again it imports all these packages the same way that we did and then it has one single function, a main, that has a pre-defined uh, um, variables that of course they can be changed and that we can uh, compute and then it does the computing as we have done now and then it plots several figures with correct plotting axes and uh, labels etc etc so I copied this uh, file into the, the workspace so I have it as a DFT model function so if I run this um, it will execute the default parameters and it will uh, compute and plot uh, this okay so this is the result of uh, this analysis synthesis of a fragment of the piano and here now it shows in a nice way well uh, with the labels the time in seconds, uh, the frequency in hertz, and uh, the amplitude explained in uh, decibels, the phase again, and then the output signal, which is the windowed version of the input signal. And of course, as we showed uh, in another class, we can zoom in into fragments of these to, uh, to visualize certain aspect of that so we can uh, understand uh, some particular harmonic how it behaves okay and and that's basically the the what i wanted to show so uh let's go back so we have shown the analysis and synthesis of a sound and the code that implements that in different versions and uh, and so all of this is available in the github um, a directory uh, that uh, you have find here in the SMS tools that you download, you can look it, uh, there is quite a bit of information about that and well explained and of course the sounds that uh, we are using come from Freesound but of course they are also in uh, within the SMO, SMS tools directory so it's easier to, uh, to have access to and that's all so uh, we did uh, we have uh, seen how to program uh, the DFT uh, and how to use the, the actual existing code of the SMS tools to perform the analysis and synthesis and hopefully this uh, has allowed you to understand better the DFT and uh, this will be fundamental for understanding the next step which will be next week which is going to be the short time for ear transform we're going to put together this DFT analysis into an analysis synthesis framework that really works for any sound and that allows us to uh, uh, analyze and synthesize larger sounds not just uh, small fragments so this is all for today and i hope to see you uh, next time bye bye